Hi everyone, today we're talking about Walgreens stock, which is a stock that I've not actually talked about on this channel before, and I always like to talk about some new stocks that I haven't done before on this channel. So we're going to talk about Walgreens, and this is because Walgreens is on a little bit of a discount. I'm going to go through the company, the fundamentals, why the stock's down, and if I'm going to buy into the stock. So yeah, we talked about Walgreens stock today, and is it a buy? Um, I really like the ticker, ticker symbol on this, uh, WBA, it always reminds me of a football club. Um, so I like the ticker, uh, ticker symbol, uh, which is pretty cool. But Walgreens, that get stuck into it. So... First of all, we're looking at Walgreens. It's actually got a dividend of a, a dividend yield of two point six four percent. So just below that three percent mark, it seems like um, for it to be classed as a proper div dividend stock, it needs to be near that three percent mark, uh, which is pretty close to. So that's a good uh, dividend, really. Um, P the P is twelve, so a nice P. Uh, that's sort of the P range that I really like to get into. So that's pretty good. Um, EPS side of it, we've got EPS still growing at eight point three two percent. Uh, for going forward year over year. Revenue, we've got 3.13%, um, which is a little bit lower than what I normally like to get into. I like an EPS growth of 10%. I like a revenue growth of 10%. Um, I don't mind it being slightly under, but the, the EPS is fine. Revenue is not exactly what I'm looking for in a company, but it's still it's still growing at an okay rate, um, so let's not forget that. And the reason why we talk about this stock is it's con it's on a little bit of a discount. The discount is 22% off its um, highs, um, so a little bit of a pullback overall, a little bit of a correction. Um, and the reason why it's down 22% is there's two reasons, and because of both reasons, they pulled it down quite a bit more. Uh, on Friday, I think it went down uh, about 7-7.5%. Seven, seven um, and one reason was the CFO came out and said there's a lot of headwinds, a lot of pressure to keep the prices down for a lot of the products for Walgreens. Um, so that brought the price down and then we also had Amazon come out saying that they're going to look at opening more supermarkets which we kind of knew already to be fair so um, that just kind of helped it go down a little bit more um, which to be honest with you I won't worry about too much for Wal Walgreens to be honest with you um, so um, that knocked the stock down and that pushed it down 22% from its um, all time highs um, two little things to point out is that uh, the balance sheet in Walgreens is actually pretty good they're sitting on 1 billion cash which is pretty good uh, it's got a three times assets to liability uh, ratio, which is good. Um, and I also, I haven't put this down on the whiteboard, but I think it pays about, it kind of has a 30% payout, so it still has a lot of um, room to go, increasing that dividend. And if you're a dividend player, that's what you like. You like to know that they're kind of easily playing that dividend out and they can easily increase it. Where you have a lot of companies that are dividend players and they can't do that. Um, and it puts a lot of pressure on the company and then they end up having to... Uh, cut the dividend, um, like your, you know, your Coca-Cola will probably look, have to look at that at some point. Uh, your Kraft Heinz, your General Electric, um, where these guys are finding it pretty comfortable right now. Um, so yeah, um, to be honest with you, my kind of view, if I'm going to buy into the stock, I, I see this as more as a dividend play, it's definitely not a growth play. Um, the dividend's pretty good and they're going to carry on increasing that dividend, which is good. Um, I, I really like the company and I, I would say it's a buy. But I probably won't buy it just because of the revenue side of it. I like to have a good high revenue growth as well near that 10% mark because I like having a company that can increase the dividend. As well as increasing the dividend, I like a company where the share price is going to go up as well and you can sell the stock for a lot higher. Um, Walgreens will probably do that but just not at a very quick rate what I'd like to happen. Um, so yeah, that puts me off the company slightly but I do feel it's a good strong company. I, I do feel like it's a buy. It just doesn't have the growth side that I would like. Um, but I am going to consider maybe buying a small position into Walgreens. Um, like I said on previous videos, I'm not looking to buy any shares into companies until the end of the month. And if I'm honest with you, I'd like this to go down probably another 10% before I get into it. Uh, if I was to get into it, just to get that um, share price down slightly. Um, so I get that share price movement back up. But if you were so solely investing into dividend plays, I would say that this is a buy for you. Uh, at this discount because your dividend's good, it's going to carry on going up. A lot more safe company, a lot more safe than companies that are paying dividends where they're probably going to struggle to pay them going forward. Um, but for Walgreens, you know, it's quite easy for them because of the revenue side of it to carry on increasing that dividend. Um, so yeah, if you're a dividend player, you know, I'd, I'd be tempted to go buy some shares into this. For me, um, it's just the revenue side of it. I'll see if it goes down slightly more, what opportunities are there towards the end of the month. And if this is still around that ratio, I then I might look at it buying into it. Um, but I am going to consider it. Um, I do rate it as a buy, but for me, it just doesn't have that growth side of it for that I just like it to have. But like I say, I'll see what other opportunities are out there. If not, maybe I'll just put a little position into Walgreens. But 
a, a strong discount on a strong company overall in my opinion guys um, so thanks for watching hope it gave you some information on Walgreens guys uh, give it a like subscribe thanks for all the support recently it's been absolutely amazing and I'll see you on the next video